Hey guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are following the last videos. If you haven't seen the other videos, please watch them. Um, we are going to go ahead and animate the ball and kind of do some final touches. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive right in. So here we are. Here's what we had last um, with our seesaw uh, experiment kind of thing. Uh, so what we want to do now is with the ball selected, we want to pay attention and once the ball, once the seesaw gets to about 21, we want the ball to come right here. Now if we push play, it looks kind of weird, right? Uh, we need to mess with the keyframes. So we'll select the first keyframe and then do Shift D to duplicate. So that means that it holds on to its parent's location until the point where it needs to go. So let me see what that looks like. We'll push play. Before we do that, we'll do Shift D from the beginning so that it's a clear loop uh, for the first frame, and then it'll come right back. So let me see what that looks like. This obviously is not clean, but let's see. All right, so right here, what we want to do is Shift D this uh, keyframe, and let me let's look how this looks okay looks pretty good so we want to just kind of come in here and clean this up a little bit so whenever the ball comes up the goal should be that it is straight up in the air so we will look at this parent line and use this to kind of even out the location And all animation is, is just timing and paying attention to how it looks and if you think it looks okay. So if you think this looks okay, we can stay, but we're going to kind of play with it a little bit, see if we can get it to look a little cleaner. I want it to hang in the air for longer. So you can do it kind of like two ways. You can shift, uh, do shift D and then that will just hold the current position. But the only problem is we need it to be perpendicular so just make sure that it is perpendicular so it kind of holds in the air and there you go so it looks really good in my opinion um, you can add a ball to the other side so it's not just one um, let's do some final touches to make our um, our animation look more interesting. So we'll come over here into the draw mode. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, grease pencil, there we go. So we'll switch to the grease pencil and we will do F, select the pencil, and we will make this into a cute little character. So we can actually draw and hold shift. So we'll do shift and draw to do a straight line. All right, cool. Oops, all right, and what we're gonna do is draw a little arm on them. So we'll do one, two, and then when he's in the air or her, we'll make them unisex. What we want to do is why is in the air. We want to erase. We'll switch to point. Draw. And then we'll do duplicate. So it looks like his his ears or his arm or whatever that is is moving a little bit when he's jumping in the air. Also, what we want to do is when he lifts off, we'll erase his eyes. We'll just shift to draw. Oops. So before you erase the eyes, make sure you duplicate the frame so you don't have to redraw stuff. Or you can come over here to multi-frame drawing, whichever one you prefer. And we will actually delete these eyes.
we'll, we'll update it to where he does a cool blink. Looks pretty cool. And so when he jumps up again, what else do we want to add? So we'll just add a couple of of wave of wind marks. Okay, cool. That looks pretty good. So yeah. Um, and what we want to do is just kind of mess with the camera angle a little bit. So we'll go over here and go into the object mode. Push zero, push G, push Y, and we will zoom in just a little bit. G Z. Move this over. Let's kind of see what this looks like. All right, and it looks like I accidentally animated the camera. And then I actually like the way it looks. <laughs> so we will do that. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. So just a, a slight camera rotation looks like it will actually um, add a little little f a flare to it. Um, just a thing to note, I did actually make it out of frame. But yeah, I think it overall looks really good. We'll kind of look at it. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you want, give them a little ghost friend or something and add a little more to the uh, seesaw all these files will be in the discord i'll make sure to save them and hopefully this was beneficial to you uh this is kind of like the beginner learning series um it's based off the site the things to animate i will link this site below um some cool animation practice this is level one i will do level two three and if there's any other levels that are more harder and more complex i will love to try those animation challenges and do them with you so yeah hopefully this has been beneficial join the discord if you haven't already like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye